The show is the impossible prez, and this is basically the idea. You let me and all of my miscreant friends that I've met around the United States, you give us a couple vegetable buses, we're gonna go couch surfing around the country, and we're gonna discover what America wants in its president. What America actually cares about. Because I've been seeing this game of politics played for a long time. Spending $300 million to get a job that only pays $500,000 doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. So I want to find out why someone's willing to pay $300 million or raise $300 million to get a job that doesn't even pay half a million dollars a year. Doesn't seem quite like the best math. I wouldn't spend a million dollars to bust my ass to get a job at McDonald's. Being president or any politician means you're supposed to be a public servant. But somehow they forgot the word servant and you became their servant. They became the king and you became the servant. Now people look at me and they judge me and they make all these stereotypes about me and I say thank you. I say thank you and I say fuck you at the same time. But I still love you and you got your way and I got mine. But all I can say is certain things just don't make sense. Like the war on drugs, let's just look at it really simple folks. It failed. It failed a long time ago. If my house was being overrun by cockroaches and I was paying you billions of dollars to keep the cockroaches out of my house and everywhere I went there was always cockroaches, I'd stop giving you billions of dollars. Why don't we take that money, spend it on after school programs or before school programs or how about just on school instead of using the juvenile, juvenile detention center as a revolving door for the prison. But prison is big business. There's more money in building prisons than schools. And in many cases, schools are only a step up from prisons. We need to rearrange our priorities. And the best way to know that the war on drugs is failing is I have yet to meet a man that has come out of prison that hasn't told me that the drug trade in prison was not big. If you can't keep drugs out of a prison, which means a place where people can't leave because they're in prison, they're behind bars, then you're going to tell me that there's a war on drugs, that we're doing something about drugs. We ain't doing shit about drugs. We need to take that money and spend it on something that actually benefits us, you, me, the people down the street, everyone you see. Rich old guys, usually white, they lie. And we buy their lies. And some young kid gets dragged to Iraq and he dies. And we don't see no body bags no more. We just see numbers racking up on Yahoo. 10 more dead, 20 more wounded. So I decided to run for president. Sometimes it's funny and sometimes it's serious. And sometimes it's fucked up like Eddie Murphy's delirious. And sometimes I rhyme and sometimes I don't. But I'm gonna play every card I got, everything coming out my sleeves, everything. Because this is where I take my stand. This is where I stop bitching. This is my revolution. But my revolution ain't my revolution whatever you want it to be. So I'm asking you, do you want a revolution or do you just want to sit and watch it all fall apart? I don't want to sit and watch it fall apart. So I got up. <laughs>